Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC News. Now, according to The Hollywood Reporter, Josh Brolin has rejected DC Studios' offer of playing Hal Jordan, aka Green Lantern. Now, whilst many fans are actually relieved at this news, some are now seeing the negative in this update, turning it into a bad sign for the DCU, and today we need to talk about that. So get comfy and let's go through this update. So THR states, Josh Brolin will not be wearing the ring after all. The actor has passed on an offer to star in Lanterns, the DC Studios series based on the Green Lantern superhero character, sources tell The Hollywood Reporter. According to multiple sources, the actor received an offer at the end of August. By the end of this past week, his mind was made up. No other details were available. The article also states that Matthew McConaughey won't be our Green Lantern either. Now, when I heard this news, I just thought, okay, I'm actually quite happy about that. Let's move on to the next actors who I think could play the role much better. But some other fans didn't see it that way, and whilst it's good to have a critical mind sometimes and question if things are good or bad, I feel some are overthinking this due to past grievances with the studio or some other more clickbaity motives. One user said, not a good sign when two critically acclaimed actors turn down a project within a new D DC Cinematic Universe from James Gunn. And I can see where he's kind of coming from, and this would be a valid criticism if we had seen the DCU already. If it was underperforming, then we could see, yeah, it's not looking good. But we have nothing to go on right now, so I feel this is just a bit of an overreaction, and potentially just a bit of clickbait. I don't think it's a bad sign. There are so many incredible movies and shows where big actors have rejected roles. It's a normal thing to happen in the movie making industry industry. And for cinematic universes specifically, you tend to have to commit quite a lot of time to them. It's not like most movies where it's a one and done. With cinematic universes, you're tying yourself down for multiple projects, which many actors don't like, and that is fine. Some want to move from project to project and not play the same character over and over again. Famously, Chris Evans rejected the Captain America gig like four times purely because he was afraid of the commitment. He didn't want to be tied down to one character character for more than one movie. He wanted the freedom to choose his next project. So just because an actor rejects a part, it doesn't mean the show will be bad. John Travolta was offered the role of Forrest Gump before Tom Hanks, but he said no. Tom Selleck said no to Indiana Jones, Sean Connery said no to Gandalf, and Hugh Jackman said no to James Bond out of fear he would be typecast. There are so many great examples out there of great projects being rejected by great actors for things other than the show or movie being bad. People are so desperate to jump the gun and act like we know what the DCU will be like, and negativity always attracts more engagement, so you're gonna see a lot of it on the internet. People tend to ignore a lot of the positives to focus on the negatives. The article literally says, Lanterns already has a high pedigree, as Ozark's Chris Mundy is showrunning the eight-episode series and co-writes with Damon Lindelof, the creator of HBO's Watchmen and seminal TV show Lost, as well as Eisner award-winning comic author Tom King. So the project has a lot of very impressive people already attached to it. I think the reason why big actors like Josh Brogan Olin and Matthew McConaughey don't want to play Hal Jordan is because it's committing to a long-term contract, and not only for just shows and movies, but also animation and potentially games. That's a hell of a lot of commitment for just one role. I can completely understand why an actor who wants to play a variety of different roles throughout their career, and who's already been extremely successful, not wanting to commit to any cinematic universe, no matter how impressive it looks. It's why it's so much easier getting younger and less well-known actors to play these roles, because it can be their big break, where they finally get noticed and get a consistent flow of income. Guaranteed work is such a desirable thing for actors who haven't made it yet. The MCU started that way, and so did the DCEU really. So committing to one role for multiple years isn't for everyone, but that doesn't mean no big actors would be interested in that. 
Maybe the show will be bad, but we simply don't know yet, and to act like this rejection is a clear sign that it is bad is such a pessimistic way of looking at it in my opinion. I get people's fears, but it feels like a lot of people just like to stir the pot and act as if everything is the end of the world, even with very little evidence behind it. Now one actor who is in the mix is Chris Pine, and I think he would be perfect for the role of Hal Jordan. I think he not only looks exactly like Hal Jordan, but he can definitely play the part. I think he is a great actor who fits the criteria perfectly. Right age, really good at acting, looks just like him, and has experience with DC before, so we know he is happy playing the same role for multiple movies, and I'm sure he would be happier playing a bigger role than just Steve Trevor. Another actor in the conversation is Timothy Oliphant. Now I have seen less of him, but from what I have seen, I would say he is a good actor. He also looks the part, however he is 50 56 years old, whereas Chris Pine is 44 years old. So I do think Timothy is slightly too old to play Hal Jordan, although Josh Brolin is a similar age and he was their first pick. So maybe this version of the character actually needs an actor more in their 50s. Now, Superman on Film asked, James Gunn calls you into DC Studios and says you can pick one actor from the DCEU's Justice League and recast them as someone in the new DCU. Who do you pick and who do they play? And I made a very rogue suggestion. I said Henry Cavill as Hal Jordan. And I know that may surprise many of you, but I really think Henry Cavill could play the part of Hal Jordan. Look at this photo here and tell me Cavill doesn't look like him. This would also allow Cavill to expand his range. He's played quite serious characters throughout his career, the most out there being in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, which I thought he was great in, and I think Green Lantern would be great for him too. When Gunn unfortunately confirmed that Cavill would no longer be Superman, he also stated that they talked about a number of exciting possibilities to work together in the future. Now this could just be typical PR, or maybe something legitimate, and I would be interested in seeing Cavill as Green Lantern in the DCU. I don't think it would actually happen, and he wouldn't be my first choice, but if someone from the DCU had to come over to the DCU to play a different role, I would choose Henry Cavill as Hal Jordan's Green Lantern. So to summarise my thoughts on today's video, I don't think fans should overreact about this news. Yes, you could see it as worrying that very successful actors have rejected a chance to be in this new DCU, and if this becomes a very common theme, then that's when we can start to get concerned, but we don't know why they have said no yet. Sure, it could be because they think it sounds awful, and if we hear that, then that is when we should start to worry. But we simply don't know yet. So many actors have rejected roles that turn out to be great movies or shows. It's a very common occurrence. And I actually think both actors would have done a good job in the role, mainly because they are great actors and could potentially make it work, but I don't really think they fit the character properly. And my rogue choice for the role would actually be Henry Cavill. But I still think Chris Pine is the best actor for the role, so that is my choice for Hal Jordan, but make sure to let me know yours in the comments below. Also let me know what you think of Josh Brolin and Matthew McConaughey rejecting the role. Are you worried by this, or do you think people are overreacting to it? Let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of our DC News. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. I hope to see you here again next episode, so until then, I hope you have a great week. Bye!